you know, this is just another one in the long line of pieces of direct evidence that the time is long overdue to start addressing racial injustice and the lack of racial equity in our country. And a lot of this is very obviously focused on policing uh, because of George Floyd's killing at the hands of multiple police officers. Uh, but it goes, it's broader than just policing, right? Our society has many, many instances of systemic racism, institutional racism, and unfortunately still to this day, individual racism. And we need to really start to focus on actionable changes we can make at the local level, the state level, and the federal level to start to change this. And I think that's what the majority of the protesters are, are looking for. They're looking for real change. They want real change. They want real equity. And I, I'm so proud that Chief Flaherty and Jill Harvey and Christine Vargiorno, that everybody was very ready, uh, very willing uh, to quickly get a statement out. In hindsight, a few days later, I, I, w I wish at least my quote had been stronger. Um, you know, I, I know we use the word death in the statement uh, and not killing. It was a killing. It was. Um, you know, I just watched another video, actually a pretty good nine minute video that the New York Times put together, uh, stitching together both security camera footage and the footage of people with their smartphones who are on scene. And it is a total and complete breakdown of, of, of so many things. Uh, the actions and inactions of those officers is nothing short of despicable and disgusting. Uh, but how important is it to have a police department like the one we have in Arlington, which in many, many ways is much differently run than your big city police departments? I, I would think that a department like Arlington's would be more in the forefront as serving as a model for law enforcement and how they and the community work together to maintain law and order with dignity and in a civilized manner. I, I think it is, it's so critical to have a department like, like you just described, like the Arlington Police Department. Are we perfect? No, far from it. Is the department perfect? No. Is the town perfect? No. Do we have a long road ahead of us to achieve something that can even look like racial equity and racial justice? Certainly, a long, long, challenging, painful road. But the Arlington Police Department and nearby departments, right? That we're, we're lucky to be living in greater Boston. These are, these are departments that for years have been undergoing de-escalation training uh, and other sensitivity trainings and trainings around community policing, committing to the community policing model. So that, like you just described, these are people who are working for the betterment of the town and working with the community to police the town. Again, do we have things that we need to continue to work on? Yes, but I do think it's also fair to say that in Arlington, we do have, we have a chief in Julie Flaherty, as well as I know many, many officers who are just so truly committed to community policing and safe and just and fair policing. So I think in that, in that regard, we're very lucky. Well, hats off to Chief Flaherty, the Arlington Police Force, and uh, the fact that they may serve as a model uh, for better policing in the future because what happened uh, in the last week and a half, and this has been simmering under the surface for years, generations. Uh, hopefully yes. that will uh, right itself um, and we can move on from this absolute national tragedy. On to our other big story, uh, the pandemic. As we slowly open up in phases, what are you hearing uh, regarding Arlington and, um, and how safe can you assure that all Arlingtonians will be? Well, I want to start by saying um, I don't at all want to chill people patronizing local businesses in a safe manner, um, but I generally have concerns about the, the speed in which we're opening as a state. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm not an epidemiologist. I'm not a public health expert, but um, you know, I've been trying my best to play one on television uh, with all the reading and uh, listening that I've been doing over the past several months, and it does seem like we're moving quickly. I don't think we're alone. Many other states are moving more quickly or just as quickly as we are. So it's not a Massachusetts specific criticism, but it does feel like uh, we are moving quickly. That said, uh, the local Board of Health is doing its best to work with all of our local businesses who have now been uh, given permission to open up with certain restrictions in place. Our planning department is also working with those local businesses, those who, that have already opened, as well as those who are expect to be allowed to be open in phase two and phase three, to make sure that they're ready to provide services to the to their to, uh, excuse me to their customers in as safe a manner as possible. Um, what I would what I guess I would suggest to residents is please 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 heed the warnings that the state 
has issued, that we continue to issue, and that businesses will issue about having your face covered, about maintaining social distancing, about staying at home if you have symptoms at all. Because even though we are going to start to slowly re-engage with our society, with our, econ uh, with our economy, and with our community, we still need to be careful because we want to protect those most vulnerable, uh, vulnerable among us from contracting the disease.